this video is for educational purposes only. Don't come for me, come for your mama. If you are offended very easily, then this video is definitely for you because you will learn something watching this video. And if you're interested in other videos, I will link Kendra G's channel down below. She is doing a phenomenal job. She is hosting a dating site for single people. And I say that because some married people try to sneak their way in there. Hello? Crazy. Hello. Hi, are you ready? I, I am. What's your name, honey? Soraya. Soraya, how old are you? 21. Are you just made the cut. 21. I did. Your light is not bad. You got me 21 to join the show. Okay, that works. That works. Soraya? Okay. Yes. Soraya, where are you calling me from? In Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. You have any children? Y'all are hating already. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. I have a one year old. Why are you not with the dad? It's just we're growing separately right now. You know, together, I feel like. We're, we just kind of hold each other back together. I feel like it's better for us to grow separately at the moment. Oh, okay. Okay, so y'all can't make it work for the baby? Not as of now. I mean, I'm not really looking for anything serious, serious. Wherever it goes, it goes. But right now, we're just not a good match. So am I sure you're not looking for anything serious? No. The entire purpose of dating is to see if you and a certain person are compatible for each other. So it is a shame that a lot of women do things in reverse. And I'm not just blaming it on women, men do it too. We start with what we should end with and end what we should start with. So you already have a child by this person and then you realize that mm, it's not going to work out. And before you come for me, Obviously, people do grow apart. However, I just want to mention that it is important to get to know a person, to vet them. When you are sleeping with an individual, be it you're on birth control, to still use protection, especially if you guys aren't married. Being someone that has lived in America for a decade now, I have realized that a lot of guys will want to have you as a baby mama before they ever even consider you to be a wife. There are literally men out here that are like, are you gonna have my kid? I want you to have my kid and all this other crap. And if you are a young woman, please get out of that situation. It will not favor you. It will not help you in any manner. We live and we learn from our mistakes. Let's get back into it. Nothing cute, nothing like marriage tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But wherever it goes, it could go there. Okay, so you want a fun time guy? Um, um what do you mean by that? Well, what are you looking for? Be clear on what you, what you want. That's what you're gonna um, get. I'm looking for a friend, someone reliable, someone I can put my trust in, someone that can trust me personally, someone who's mature. Like for me personally, the father of my child is 24. I'm just trying to figure out how old do I have to go for a man that's actually a man. Maybe I've just been, Duval isn't really good for men, I feel like. So let me ask you this. You said a friend. So you don't want a relationship. You want a friend. No, I, I do want a relationship. As far as we're going, she does seem like she is all over the place, granted her age. And then at the same time, I love Kendra, but she literally said that she's not looking for something serious. However, if it goes to that path, back to what I was saying, she's trying to get somebody that she can date at a certain pace, figure them out first before she makes the same mistake twice. What I personally would advise is that once you have a kid, and you're still trying to figure life out, focus on that kid. There's so many times I've seen on the Kendra show, I've seen on television, I've seen everywhere where someone has a one month old and a one year old or whatever the case is, two under two, and they're already wanting to get into another relationship with a guy. There is some women out there that cannot stay single. Now this is just me and you talking. It has nothing to do with her, but there are so many women who just can't be by themselves. They hold it down for themselves. They hold it down for their kids. They may have a better career. She's still trying to figure herself out. And yeah, it's not easy, but somebody's got to do it. And you made the decision to lay down with somebody that's a bum and now you're dealing with it. You just pop the baby out and you're ready for the next guy. Relax. <laughs> Relax, life is short, but you don't wanna be miserable in that shortness. You wanna enjoy every minute. Just 
relax. It's tough and it's rough. We all make mistakes, some greater than others. I don't even like saying that because everybody lives differently. One man's struggle is another man's easy. One man's easy is another man's difficult. So I don't really like saying that. Just get your priorities in order. A man should not be top 10 on that priority list. Relationship, but just nothing forced, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm so, no, I don't know what you mean, and I and I want to be clear. Mm -hmm. I think you need to speak, well, decide what you desire because you said a friend. So my next question is going to be: Do you want a friend that you have sex with? No, I, I well, okay, if I. I would, I do, I am looking for a relationship, I'll say. I just don't want to rush anything because I just got out of a four-year relationship. I'm looking for a companion, someone to, to grow closer with, someone who shares my same beliefs and understandings. Okay, do you want a committed friendship, relationship, or could he have other women? Yeah, no. If we're going the relationship route, if it grows into that, then definitely no other women. I'm not the, I'm not that one. <laughs> So you want to commit in a relationship? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not what you said. You said you wanted a friend. You said you want to, you said you didn't want anything serious. So you said well, three yeah, different types of relationships. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Cause I, I just don't want to like get on here and then start texting with someone and then they day, you know what I'm saying? It takes time. What I love about Kendra is even if she understands exactly what someone means, and this is going back to what I said earlier, to us, it may seem like she's not understanding. But now that I look at it, she's more so just wanting to make sure that you know exactly what you want in your life. Because if you're sounding crazy, she's going to tell you that you sound crazy. She wants you to figure yourself out in this process when you have thousands of people watching you and tell us exactly what you like at the end of the day this is a dating site this is not a friendship going into a relationship however she is still in my opinion kendra still giving her grace let's get back into it okay throughout the time process would you guys wait to intimacy before you're in a relationship or would you have sex before you're actually in a relationship no we would definitely wait uh, wait for the intimacy to the relationship, right? All right. What do you do for a living, Soraya? Um, right now, I work with a temp agency, um, pharmacy technician, filling prescriptions, things like that. More of a customer service desk job type thing. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Sag. Well, I'm on the cusp. I'm like a Capricorn. My real zodiac sign is a Capricorn, but I give more Sag vibes. Girl, everything with you is confusing. I know. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just a. Everyone tells me that. I don't know. I'm just work on it. Work on it. Let me give you. You're 21. Yeah. So I, I, I do give graces to people who are young because life experience has been my greatest teacher. So all you can do is live, and the more you live, you learn. Right. But work on being more clear. Yeah. Unless you want to raise the legal age to 25, I do understand the whole she's 21 and stuff. And I did see comments earlier that people are saying she's a baby, show grace. Kendra does show grace to people. And yes, she is 21. However, she is a 21 year old with a baby. So things now have to change. She's no longer a baby. Once you have a child, you are a grown adult. Obviously, it depends on the situation, but if you're 21 with a kid, yeah, get it together. You're very indecisive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want me to say Capricorn or a Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. And now we got Soraya, 21, yes. Sagittarius, Jacksonville, Florida, a mom to a one-year-old, works at a temp agency. Now, baby girl, you do have a one-year-old. What would you say to the man that's concerned that you are, that you have a one-year-old? Um, concerned as far as what? Just that I have a kid in general? Well, sometimes concerns are with children, but when you have a child under five, mm -hmm. you know, it, you know, a lot of people's concerns, this goes for men and women, you know, this is a young child. So are you still intimate mm -hmm. with the child's father? No. You obviously oh. have to co-parent with this person. This person yes. is going to be a part of your life for a very long time. Right. So men and women at times are cautious dating people that have children under the age of five mm -hmm. at times. Yes. 
And I totally understand that with me. That's another frustrating thing about being my age and in my generation as well as where I live. I feel like you can't be with anyone that isn't expected to still sleep with the father of their child or the mother of their child. For me, it's a no. When I'm done, I'm done. When I'm in a relationship, I'm committed. So that's just me. There's no beating around the bush, sleeping around with my... I mean, if I did decide to get back with him, then it would be that. But it's just not that. And I don't think it will be. You don't think it will be? Okay. No. All right. So what kind of man are you looking for now, honey? Um, um, what kind of, just someone, like I said, who's on my level. I am young. I am confusing. I see y'all throwing shade, but I'm young. I'm confusing. I, I'm looking for someone who's on my same level spiritually, um, as far as plans, goals, where I want to be in life. Uh, just a man. Like, if you know, you know, a man. Okay. Someone who... Okay. All right. She sounds very naive and that has to do with her age. But then at the same time, there's so many other adults that sound naive and they're like pushing 40. But the thing is, the same men that are going to be in the comment section dogging her out are the same men that are going to be in her DMs taking advantage of her naiveness. And that is just something to look out for. So I am glad if you are a parent, please comment down below and let me know that you are making sure that you are giving your child guidance so that they do not get led astray by a bum that's 40 about to approach this 21 year old and take advantage of her. What's your deal breaker? Well, obviously, um, I have a child, so I'm open. If you have a child, just please not. It just depends how that man carries himself. Like I said, if you have one kid, that's okay. As long as you know you're not messing with the mother of their child, I don't want any baby mama drama. Just no. Um, let's see, another deal breaker. Um, I'm open to beliefs as far as spirituality. Because all, all religions have a bit of truth in them. So I'm open to beliefs. Um, the deal breakers is just your, like, hygiene. Obviously, if you don't have good hygiene, you shouldn't be on the show. Um, that's pretty much it, to be honest. I mean, if there's anything else you could bring up, I'm not sure. Okay, well, I don't know you enough um, uh, for the deal breakers. Okay, would you date a guy that has kids? Of course, I feel like I don't have an option. Yes, I would do a guy that has kids just because of the simple fact that I have one. So I'm open to it. If I didn't have a kid, then the answer would be no. But I have one, so I kind of have to be open do to you it. you want more children? I do. Okay. But to be honest with you, I don't want to just... That would honestly have to take time. For me personally, as of now, I don't want to have several different baby dads. So to be honest, if I wanted to have children, I would go back to my baby dad as of now because I don't see any other man to be fit. But if I did meet that man, then I would have children with him and be ready to settle down for sure. And yes, I did. <laughs> okay, so I want to make sure I hear you clearly. So if you don't meet somebody else worthy... You'll have another child by your child's father? Of course. Just to set, keep it, like, I don't want one, two, three, four, five. I would just do my baby dad again. I understand the logic. You get that? You I understand, understand the, the logic? logic? Yeah, because I don't but want... This, yeah. But this goes back to my original question about uh, what would you say to a person that's concerned that you have a one-year-old child? Because your, your child's father, you said earlier, you didn't want... He's not an option. But now he is kind of an option. He's a backup plan for your next child, unless you meet a person who doesn't come along and meet your needs. So essentially, your your child's father is still an option in your life. Yes, it is. If someone else, because like I said, right now we're just on two different paths growing. We're both young. He's more immature than I am. So he's 24 he's still growing i'm still growing all right so this is petty i think she's still in love with her baby daddy i mean they were together for four years which means i guess she was 17. she is still in love she probably still wants him but he is still also trying to find himself so now they're in this pickle and she went on the kendra show knowing that she may be highlighted aka 
putting out there to social media outside being live and he will see it, get mad and try to talk things out. Whatever the case is, we've all been in Pettyville. Some of us are still living Pettyville. I know I can be petty at times. I try not to, but it just seems like all this is for show. She needs to grow the up. <laughs> One thing I never understand, and if you are someone that can answer this for me, I will love you. Why is it that an individual not her because she didn't necessarily dog her baby father. She just said he was immature. He's learning himself. He's growing. That's not bad. I'm talking about people that will poop on their baby daddy and they will talk crap about the baby daddy and all that vomit that they spit out to talk crap about their baby daddy. The next day, next day, it could be a couple of months. Why is it that they go back to that same person? Why do you clown the father of your child just to go back to him and have another kid by him? What good does that make? What sense does that make? I never understood it. If you can answer it once again, I will love you. What do women get from that? Because I, as a woman, if you are dogging your baby father out, for one, that's the father of your kid. Secondly, you slept with this guy probably more than once. Thirdly, you were in a relationship with him. Granted, it was a silly, stupid relationship, but you, you, you got a kid out of that. So what benefit does that give except just build more turmoil when it comes to co-parenting? I never understood that. I don't think I'll ever understand that. I don't think I'll fully grasp the concept of that. And then the women that talk crap about their baby father to their child, that child has no business. You have to hold yourself accountable for the actions that you took with sleeping with that guy. I'm going on a rant, so let's go back. But answer that question for me, please. It's just not something that I'm looking for now. I'm looking for someone in the now that could be a companion to me and he's just not that person. Okay, I understand, again, I understand the logic, but I'm just trying to teach you, this is why a man is cautious at times, and not just men, because women are cautious too, with dating people that have young children, because the baby daddy and the baby mama still is always kind of a factor. Yeah, I understand. Okay, well, let's keep going. So um, I forget what question we had to ask you that. Does the guy have to look a certain way? Did I ask you that already? No. Um, honestly, I like dark skinned men. Um, a certain height, I'm 5'4", so I would say above 5'8 or 5'9", really six foot, if you really ask me. But I'm not gonna be too, I don't have the perfect body. I'm a little bit on the chunkier side. I know we gotta do the Kendra camp, so I'm not gonna lie. But I do have my, I've been working out, working on my body, you know what I'm saying? But as far as does a man have to look a certain way? Handsome, I mean, ethnicity, I like dark skinned men, but I'm, I don't want to say I'm open to ethnicity, so I'm, I really like dark skin men. But like I said, if someone just slides in, you never know. Okay. What about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Well, I'm young. I support myself. He should be able to support himself and be able to, you know, support me if we're going out on dates or if we're planning something, trips, flights, you know, anything like that. Okay. Um... Now, let's do the kids with kids. Okay. Okay. And like I said, I've been working on it. But, you know, I'm, it's, oh, you can't see all the way. I don't think you have, you see all the way. I don't think you have a bad body to have a one-year-old. It's, you just, have it's just kind of, it's just kind of this and, like, back fat. But I've been working out, like, every day, trying to, like I said, I'm young. Y'all can throw the shade, go back to school. I'm young. I still have a lot of growing up to do. So I'm really looking for a person that's read, like willing to, to, a man that can teach me and mold me. Someone that can't te can teach me something that I don't already know, basically. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Now, uh, when was your last relationship? What do you mean? When was your last relationship? Oh, my last relationship just, it ended... I would say in July of last year. Was that your child's father? Yes. It, it was a four-year relationship. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? About 
four months ago with the child with my uh baby's father four months ago okay so he was also the last man he was have you dated anybody since your child's father you haven't no okay what are three flaws you have to work on baby girl my body um communication as you've already pointed out um and a third flaw I would say um, my body communication and being more understanding. I would say some empathetic, is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, just because I'm, I know that I'm special. I know I'm different from other people. Um, and just my knowledge at a young age, I feel like I, I have a lot more maturity than some other people. Um, everyone grows differently, but I just feel like the way I was raised and the way I came up, I have just a kind of, uh, an advance on other people my age from everything that I've been through and just how my parents raised me, basically. So I just feel like I'm more mature for my age, that I have a lot more to offer knowledge-wise. And just the truth in the world, like, I just know a lot more than the average person. Like, we could really sit down and talk for real. What's something? you know more than the average person like just spiritual like spiritual wise like i don't want to get into it because it's a lot of controversy but a person that knows knows person that knows knows okay yes, all right we got soraya jacksonville florida has a one-year-old tip agency 21 what is the age range you want to date i'll say 21, give it your best shot, but really 25 to 30, I, 25 to 30, I'm done with the young guys, I really am. And should he be out in Jacksonville, Florida? No, please, God, no, fly me out, move me somewhere, I'll pack my bags. Woo! Fly you out? Yes, I'm tired of being in Jacksonville, like, my plan was to move soon. Okay, all right, but wait, well, how can the guy reach out to you, honey? Um... Just DM me. Yeah. Say it for them. You have to sell it for the cousins. Okay. okay. My Instagram is Queen Soraya, Q U, but you replace the E's with three. So it's Q U three three N S three R A I A H. Yeah, that's confusing. Say you want me to do it again? <laughs> okay. Q U three three N S three. Three R A I A H. And there you have it. All right, honey, I'm wishing you the best, okay? okay. okay thank you. All right, bye, baby girl. A take from this would be for one, compliments to her. She is very beautiful. And her body is not as bad as she thinks. But at the same time, I don't want to be that person who's always like, oh, your body doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, people like to hear that. But if she sees faults in herself, then it is what it is. Third would be a lack of parental guidance. She did mention parents being in our life, but they probably were just doing the best they could. She is living proof of that. And is there change? Yes, she still has a long way to go, but at the same time, it would make it a lot easier if she focused on herself, her child, her career, and what she has going for herself. And then when it comes to her being more experienced, more mature than other people in her age range, I would just take a guess and say that she was most likely talking about conspiracy theories. And girl, I am a conspiracy theorist. That is one of the only things I can think of when she mentioned that. So if you are a mother with a child, please love them, show them the guidance that they need in life. If you feel like you're not doing a good enough job, get the extra lessons, go on YouTube or something just to be a better parent. And if you are a single mother, please get it together. Get your life in order. No one is going to come save you. That's just the harsh reality of it. And then another point I want to say, the baby daddy, baby mama, they're always going to linger around. 